Hi, fellow web flowers. I see again and again that people make a small but crucial mistake with drop downs in Webflow, which is why the animations don't work properly. Here you can see um, just a website, and I'm going to mobile because the problem is even more obvious on mobile. Uh, I turn on the preview mode, and now when I want to open this drop down here, you can see the opening animation. It's working smooth, but now when I close it, it disappears in instantly. Also, now when I like open um, this second drop down here, it's like the opening animation is smooth, but the closing animation is instantly. There's not the same uh, delay in the in duration and the opacity. So let's have a look at the animation itself. I'm just going to show the navigation. Let's choose here our drop down. Go to the interactions. And here's the one that I use for mobile. So let's have a quick look at the animation itself. So it's like I'm animating the opacity, the size, and the border color. And I'm also rotating uh, this little chevron here. And when I close the drop down, I actually uh, do the same. It's like I turn down the opacity to zero. I set the size to zero pixels and I make the border color uh, transparent and I rotate this um, nav drop icon um, back to zero degrees. And now if I go here and even set this up to something like one second, you will see that it's actually not working. I open it, you can see the animation, I close it and it's instantly closed. And this is not such a nice behavior. And before I tell you the reason for this problem, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I post frequently new videos about Webflow, Figma, and design business. And if you want to become one of the top-notch Webflow developers, this channel is actually for you. But now back to the problem. So what you have to do is you have to select your uh, dropdown here then you have to go to the settings and here you have to give it a close delay. And in my opinion, this behavior or that it's necessary to give it a close delay is a little bit inconsistent from Webflow because you don't have to give it a close delay. Um, for example, when you make an animation for the um, navigation itself, but you have to do it on a dropdown. So you need to know. So uh, my advice uh, for the close delay is Use something that is 100 milliseconds longer uh, than your animation. So my animation is supposed, uh, my close animation is supposed to be 300 milliseconds. So I choose 400 milliseconds. And you have to do it on each instance of your uh, dropdown. It's not connected to the class. It's um, directly on the item. So I have to go to my second one and do it here as well. And also, you can't make changes between breakpoints. It's a, it's like a global setting for this item exclusively. Um, last thing I have to do is I have to go back to my interactions and change this one back to 0 0.3 seconds. That matches 300 milliseconds. Let's save that. Um, go into preview mode and have a look. You can see the open animation. And now you can see the close animation. You can see this looks much smoother. And if you want to learn more about the fundamentals of Webflow animations, you should watch this tutorial next. So in the meanwhile, have a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.